In this video, I want to show you guys my new million dollar detailing garage. <laughs> Okay, I'm kidding, because this is the real world. What's going on, guys? I'm so glad you're here. You know, I know I've been MIA for a little while, not posting for a little while, but I'm back in action. A few different things going on in the Wilson Auto Detailing community that I'll explain at a later date, but right now, I'm back. I've got a whole new detailing garage set up. No, it's not a million dollar setup, and the reason I say that is because you guys know I'm candid, I like truth, I like, you know, transparency, and of course on social media, it's basically, like, characteristically the exact opposite of that. So because of that, um, I want to show you guys kind of a real world detailing garage setup. This is new for me because you guys know for the last, like, eight years I've been a mobile detailer, and now I actually have a stationary setup place that I can shoot videos with all my stuff. So I'm going to take you guys through a tiny little tour and it is tiny because it's a small place, but hey, this is the real world, okay? I don't have a million dollars to spend on a detailing garage, but for what it is, it's awesome, and I also think it's kind of transferable because it didn't take a lot of money to set this up, so let's check it out. Okay, so I'm gonna start from the outside in so you guys can kind of see going in what this looks like. So you see, I've got my three shelves right here. I'll start from top to bottom here. Number one, this is just a super like basic, I think it was like 35 bucks, uh, kind of a thicker plastic shelf and um, again, super inexpensive, plastic shelf, nothing crazy expensive, but it works perfectly for the purposes that I'm using it here. So up here, I've actually just got an empty storage container I used to keep my steamer in, rotary polisher, a box of a few different products actually that I've not yet released that I'm gonna uh, start experimenting with right down here. I've got all my polishers laid out very nicely. Below that, I've got two of my main machines, electric pressure washer, steamer, one of the reasons why I have them set up like this is because all I have to do here is actually because, again, there's an outlet right behind here. I can keep these things plugged up and just switch them on as soon as I need to switch them on, plug the hose in, even keep the hose plugged in, and that way it's not something I have to pull out, get ready, get uh, fixed up. I can just kind of immediately use it. So anyway, for a guy like me, that's actually super exciting. Down here, I've just got a regular detailing storage bag, another DeWalt kind of stuff. I keep random tools in should I need to take things somewhere. A couple of place microfiber towels and a uh, wool pad that I've not yet figured out a place. This is actually just miscellaneous stuff in the garage, not detailing whatsoever. Got a toolbox right here. Now, next shelf, I got two five gallon buckets up here. Huge bin of microfiber towels. These are kind of my standard microfiber towels that I use for run of the mill detailing. Below that, I've got more specialty microfiber towels. So these are microfiber towels that I use on nicer vehicles that I use for specific applications. They're not just quote unquote run of the mill <laughs> microfiber towels. Um, many of them are by Max Shine because I'm partnered with that company and I'm doing a lot of experimenting with some of their products that I particularly like. Now down here, I've got a few miscellaneous tools. This is kind of like my like miscellaneous section here. I've got a light, a couple lights here, a hook that I still need to put in the wall. Got um, a couple different tools here, brushes, steamer tools. Here again, bag of some random tools, sponges, applicators, scrubbers, all all that good stuff. I think I got a sweet, super clean bottle in here as well. Below that, again, I got another shelf for some heavier machinery, as it were. My rigid four gallon vac, my Aqua Pro extractor. I've got a Max Shine bag right here that I'm going to uh, start using. It's easy to tote around, kind of makes my life a bit easier and more organized. Down here, I've got some sandpaper, some tape. This is all for wet sanding. This is my wet sanding bag. Got a Stanley toolbox. It's got like a box cutter, Sharpie, different things that you just need at random times. And then right here, I've got my bag of, well, what I would call like my miscellaneous exterior stuff. So you've got like applicator pads, you've got foam cannons, you've got specialty sealants, polishes, um, some foam soap, all that good stuff. Now, finally my third shelf, bunch of super clean t-shirts. <laughs> that I still need to start giving away. Right here, I've got a sweet new ceramic coating that I'm gonna do a review video on today. And I've got a big thing of magic erasers because you never know when you're gonna need magic erasers. Right here, huge product shelf of mainly products that I still need to test. And down here is basically the same, same, same thing. So these two shelves are basically my testing shelves. Got a ton of products that I'm doing a bunch of experimenting with. Down here, I've got my majority of my foam and my 
microfiber DA pads. I've got my gallon size uh, stuff. And then down here, I also have a bunch more gallon size stuff. Super clean, extra tough, rapid remover, citral, dis uh, distilled water, all that good stuff. Sweet trash can next to that. Got a hook with all my extension cords. Then, got my trusty Toro leaf blower dries cars. Got both my extractor hoses back here. I've got my other extractor, my Mighty Light 8070 heated <laughs> carpet extractor. Super simple name to remember, as you can see. I've got my sweet Duralast uh, seat. And then I've got my two big bins here, apart from my iced coffee that I'm drinking today. I got off coffee. About every three months, I make myself stop drinking coffee for like a month, like resets my body, but that's totally beside the point. So here I've got two big bins. This has got more buckets, uh, outlet, I mean, uh, extension cords. It's got certain gallon products. Here it's all my spray bottle products, so like anything I put in a spray bottle, so all purpose cleaner, degreaser, sealants, waxes, uh, window cleaners, all that sort of stuff. Above that, of course, I got my steamer. Uh, my steamer hose and then I've got my regular garden hose, but let me give you guys a bit broader view of it here So you I'm standing on the far side here of the garage and I'll stand on this side as well So you guys can see how roomy it is and I know I'm kind of geeking out right now But that's because for somebody who likes detailing like I do this is kind of like Christmas. So anyway, I make this video just to show you guys my new video detailing setup, which is super cool, but I also make it just to show how, um, you know, one of the reasons why I'm on social media and I kind of post maybe the, what would be a good way to articulate it, uh, the genre of videos that I produce is because um, many times on social media, you know, there are guys that are like, check out these shelves, check out this uh, organizer, and it's like you go to the link below and it's like $50,000, and you're like, who is going to buy a $50,000 shelf? That doesn't even make any sense. So my point is, I did all of this, not including all the tools and equipment, obviously, but all the organization and toolboxes and shelves. I did all of this for like under 300 bucks, um, probably under like 250 actually, when everything was factored in. And so I say all that to say, um, this is gonna be my new video place. And while it's not a million dollar detailing setup because this is the real world, um, it's still super exciting and it can be done by anybody, not just me, right? So it's good to be back on YouTube. Great to see everybody. If you're new to the Wilson Auto Detailing community, as always, consider subscribing. If you're like me and you love everything auto detailing, what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna do my best to hook up uh, maybe just one link below this video that'll take you to a page where it has just the major things in this video, like the shelving and maybe some toolboxes, uh, the bins that I keep everything in, just kind of like my organizational, like basic, basic, uh, uh, more inexpensive organizational tools that I uh, have kind of done with this place so that if you guys want to kind of work it into your garage then you certainly can at a more uh, reasonable price so definitely check out that link if you're interested in getting your hands on any sort of this stuff it's very easy I did this in about a day but outside of that again if you're new to the channel consider subscribing if you love everything auto detailing like I do and as always from Luke here at Wilson Auto Detailing. Keep working hard, and I'll see you guys in the next video.